Hey guys, morning. Um, it's Jason. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be uh, teaching you the correct way or positions to put your brake pads on if you don't know how. So please whip that like button and let's get into this video. So here's my vehicle right here. I'm doing a Chevy Silverado, of course. Alright guys, so we're going to get our caliper off right here. caliper off, press it in on my tool right here. So what we're looking at here is the pad with the sensor, the warning tab. So your tire goes forward like this. You want this sensor to be at the bottom. You want it to be at the bottom of the the rotor right here not at the top like right here like this pad was at the top see this is wrong it should have been at the bottom because that's the first point of contact is going to make is right there and also if you have a rusted up bracket right here please don't do like this other youtuber i've seen is grind this tab down don't ever do that all you need is a wire brush and take the bracket off and just wire brush it till it's clean. That's it. Because if you do grind this tab down right here, you're going to get play up and down and it's going to cause squeaking. Also, do not lube these. These will just get dirt and dust in them and it will collect on that grease and cause uh, noise and sticking also. But you do want to lube these pins up right here. Um, that's very important. Okay, so we're going to lube these pins up. I like to use EP Molly Grease. It's a synthetic grease. It's rust proof and waterproof. And this customer did not want his rotors turned. I recommend to turn the rotors no matter what. I'm gonna get this one greased. I remember this customer had his pads on upside down. He had his tab up top here, which you don't want. You want it at the first point of contact with the pad, so it'd be down here. So, see the difference? I'm gonna put this pad down here. Oop, forgot to change the upper retainer on here. Always replace your hardware if you can. Get that pad. Get that pad. That's it. That's it. See how see how loose they are in there. Like I said, they're already loose. Do not grind down these tabs right here. You know, Just, like I said, use a wire brush. Uh, get the bracket off, clean it real good, and then everything should fit together perfectly. Because you, you grind down these tabs, you touch anything else, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna cause a big noise problem in the end. So if you were on the back pad, on the back tire, since it spins like this, you would want this tab up, because that's gonna be the first point of contact in the back. So on the back, the tab goes up on the inboard side, and in the front, the tabs go down on the inboard side. So, that's pretty much it. That's how you put your pads on correctly on any, uh, pretty much any car you're doing. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, you guys have a great day.